everyone. Today I am going to tell how to find other trigonometric functions in a quadrant if one value of uh, trigonometric any trigonometric function is given with examples and with practice questions with answers. And uh, this is uh, from trigonometric functions chapter three class eleven. Um, here these are the trigonometric functions we have already learned in our previous class. Those are sin x, cos x, tan x, and cosecant x, secant x, and cot x. And here sin x for sin x, cos x, and tan x, the reciprocals of these three trigonometric functions are cosecant x for sin x, and cos x, the reciprocal is uh, secant x, and for tan x, it is cot x. So here sin x is equal to 1 by cosecant x, and cos x is equal to 1 by secant x, and tan x is equal to 1 by cot x. Please remember all these. You have already learned this in your previous class. And we already know that trigonometry is a study of relationships between the sides and angles of a triangle. So here, this is a right triangle. And here, this is opposite side for this angle. And this is hypotenuse. And this is adjacent side. So here, sin x is opposite side by hypotenuse. And tan x is opposite side by adjacent side. And cos x is adjacent side by hypotenuse. Once you know these three values, you can easily calculate cosecant x, secant x, and cot x. Now I am going to tell how the signs of uh, all trigonometric functions in all quadrants in xy coordinate system, in two dimensional xy coordinate system. And uh, before going to tell, uh, we have to learn the difference between radians and degrees because. Till now, we learned all the trigonometric functions uh, in degrees, but now onwards, you have to uh, convert those degrees in radians or you have to learn from uh, the trigonometric functions in terms of radians. So first to learn uh, what is the difference between radians and degrees. So we have to uh, remember this 2 pi is equal to 360 degrees. So pi is equal to 360 by 2, that is 180 degrees. You know, pi by 2 is 180 by 2, that is 90 degrees. 3 pi by 2 is equal to 3 into 180 by 2 that is equal to 270 degrees. So here 2 pi, pi, pi by 2, 3 pi by 2 all are in radians and these are in degrees. So here 2 pi radians is equal to 360 degrees. Here no need to write the radians uh, term. You can directly uh, show like this 2 pi. So it means 2 pi radians. So here also pi radians, pi by 2 radians. And here 3 pi by 2 radians. So you have to remember all these values. 2 pi is equal to 360, pi is equal to 180, pi by 2 is 90, 3 pi by 2 is 270 degrees. And uh, this is uh, xy, two-dimensional xy coordinate system. So this is x-axis and this is y-axis, this is origin. And this is first quadrant and this is second and this is third and this is fourth. We already know this. And this is 0 degrees, this is 90 and this is 180 degrees and this is 270 degrees and this is 360 degrees. Now convert this into uh, radians. So 90 is pi by 2. See here 90 is pi by 2. So pi by 2. So this is uh, this is pi by 2. 0 to pi by 2 here. These angles are in first quadrant. The angles are from 0 to 90 degrees. That is 0 to pi by 2. See here 0 to 90. And in second quadrant 90 to 180. That means pi by 2 to pi. The angles are from pi by 2 to pi or 90 to 180. And in third quadrant the angles are from 180 to 270, 180 to 270, so pi by pi to 3 pi by 2. And in fourth, the angles are from 270 to 360 degrees. That means 3 pi by 2 to 2 pi. So you have to remember all these values. Now I am going to tell what are the signs of all trigonometric functions in all quadrants. So if you see here, this is first quadrant. In first quadrant, all trigonometric functions are having the same positive sign only. So that means sin, uh, cos, tan, all are positive sign. And in second quadrant, only sin and cosecant x are positive. Remaining all are negative. If you remember only sin, cosecant is uh, the reciprocal for sin x. So it is, uh, you can uh, automatically, you can put the sign for positive for this also. So only remember sign here. So only these two are positive in second. And in third quadrant, only tan cot. This is reciprocal of tan. So if you remember tan, automatically you can put positive sign for this also. So here in third, tan cot. And in fourth, only cos and secant. 
this is also reciprocal for cos so if you remember this automatically you will get uh, you you can put positive sign for this so these two only positive remaining all are negative so remember all these values you can easily uh, this is a tip you can easily remember while doing the problems because every time it is difficult to uh, draw this uh, uh, coordinate system like this so it is easy to uh, write this uh, you can remember like this or you can remember like this so this is first second quadrant third and fourth here all are positive here only sign is positive because if you remember only sign automatically you can put positive for cosecant x similarly tan and cos uh, and if you remember this is easy to you can uh, easily write uh, the values uh, in the problems so this is first second third fourth and if you remember astc that means all sign tan and cos so astc you remember like this and you can easily do the problems and also remember these values 0 to 90 that is first quadrant or you 0 to uh, pi by 2 90 to 180 second 182 to 273 and 272 360 that is fourth so please remember all these values if you see this example then you will understand how to find the trigonometry functions in any quadrant this is example 6 from ncrt if cos x is equal to minus 3 by 5, x lies in the third quadrant. This is the third quadrant. Find the values of other five trigonometric functions. So here only one trigonometric uh, function value is given, that is cos x is equal to minus 3 by 5. And x lies in the third quadrant. So if you use this tip, 1, 2, 3, 4. So these are the quadrants and A is T C. So here x lies in the third quadrant. So third quadrant only tan and uh, reciprocal for tan is cot. So only tan and cot are positive and the remaining all are negative only. So first uh, given value is cos x is equal to minus 3 by 5. And you know this already you learned this uh, in your previous class how to find the other values. So 3, 5, 3 by 5. So this is adjacent side. So 3 by 5, this is hypotenuse. So this is cos x. So you have to find this value. If you know the Pythagoras triplet 3, 4, 5, you can directly apply this value, write this value, or you can find like this, 3 square is 9 and 5 square is 25. And this is square root of 25 minus 9, that is square root of 16, that is 4. Either you can calculate like this, or if you know this value, you can directly write this value. Now you can uh, easily find out the other trigonometric functions like this. So here cos x is given, so secant x is the reciprocal for this one. So that is equal to minus of 5 by 3, 1 by cos x, so minus of 5 by 3. And next one, sin x is equal to, here only tan and cot are uh, positive. You can circle here, uh, then you can easily write the values here, if you can circle like this. And sin x is equal to, here uh, this one, 4 by 5, first write the value 4 by 5, and it is negative because only this is uh, in third quadrant only tan and cot are positive remaining all are negative and cosecant x is equal to this is also 1 by sin x so 5 by 4 minus similarly see tan x is equal to tan x is 4 by 3 the value is 4 by 3 so 4 by 3 but positive because third quadrant so it is positive it is given it is third quadrant here so you have to write like this then cot x is equal to uh, 1 by tan x so 3 by 4 so 4 by 3 3 by 4 so like this you can find the trigonometric functions other trigonometric functions and this is uh, example 7 uh, here cortex is given that is minus 5 by 12 x lies in the second quadrant see second quadrant the only sine and cosecant are positive the remaining all are negative so first find the values if you know 5 12 13 this is also a pair uh, a Pythagoras uh, triplet. If you remember directly, you can write this value or you can calculate phi square. The here, uh, phi square square root of uh, phi square plus uh, 12 square, that is 144 plus 25, that is square root of 169, that is 30. So this is the hypotenuse value. So here cortex is given. Cortex means here, if you see here, this is tan x. So cortex is given means this is 5 and this is 12. So you have to write first like this. This is phi and this is 12 because this is tan x. So this is cortex. So one by one by cot one by tan x one by cortex is tan x. So this is cortex. 
that is minus 5 by 12. It is given. Therefore, tan x is equal to 1 by cot x, so minus 12 by 5. And here only sine and cosecant x are positive. So sine x is equal to, from this sine x is 12 by 13, so positive. Cosecant x is equal to, again, 1 by sine x, so 13 by 12, directly you can write. And uh, remaining values, negative. So, so cos x is equal to, here cos x is 5 by 13. So negative, minus 5 by 13. And secant x is equal to uh, 13 by 5. 1 by cos x, so 13 by 5, that is minus. So like this, you can find easily. This is another type of problem. If sin x is equal to 3 by 5, tan y is equal to 1 by 2, and pi by 2 is less than x less than pi less than y less than 3 pi by 2, find the value of 8 tan x minus root 5 secant y. So here sin x is given, tan y is given. Here it is in terms of x and here it is in terms of y. And x is between pi by 2 and pi. And y is between pi to 3 pi by 2. So between pi and 3 pi by 2. So you have to identify the quadrants by using this. So first write the given values here. Sin x is 3 by 5. Tan y is equal to 1 by 2. And pi by 2 is less than x less than pi less than y less than 3 pi by 2. If you directly identify the quadrants uh, by using this, you can write directly or you can use this uh, uh, xy coordinate system and you can uh, find the um, quadrants like this. And first write the degrees. If you, uh, by using radians, if you directly can calculate, uh, the identify the uh, quadrants, it is okay. Otherwise, you have to convert this in uh, degrees first. That is pi by 2 is 90 degrees, less than x, less than 180 degrees, pi is 180, and 3 pi by 2 is 270 degrees. First, write this and now identify the quadrants here. Here, x is between 90 to 180. So, 90 to 180, that is in second quadrant. So, x is in second quadrant. And y is uh, between 180 to 180 and 270. So 180 and 270. So y is in third quadrant. So x lies in the second quadrant and y lies in the third quadrant. So by using this, you have to find the remaining trigonometric uh, values. We need only these two values because you have to find this value. So tan x and secant y. By using these two values, you have to find tan x and secant y. So first you have to find tan x value. So here sin x is given that is 3 by 5. So the, here this is 4. 3, 4, 5 is a Pythagoras triplet. So you can directly write this value. Or you can calculate square root of 5 square minus 3 square. That is uh, square root of 16. That is 4. So you can find this value first. And here sin x is 3 by 5. And tan x you have to find. So tan x is 3 by 4. So first write the value 3 by 4. And here y negative sign. Because... Here x lies in the second quadrant. See here, second in second quadrant, except sine and cosecant, remaining all are negative. So here tan x is negative, that is minus 3 by 4. And next you have to find secant y. So tan y is given. So here tan y is 1 by 2. So this is tan y, 1 by 2. You have to find this value, that is square root of 2 square plus 1 square, that is square root of 4 plus 1, that is 5, square root of 5. So, secant y is equal to cos y is 2 by root 5. So, secant y is root 5 by 2, 1 by cos y, so root 5 by 2 in this direction. So, first write the value root 5 by 2 and y it is negative because here tan y, y lies in the third quadrant. Y lies in the third quadrant. So, in third quadrant only tan and cot are positive, remaining all are negative. So, here it is negative. Once you find these two values, you can calculate this value 8 tan x minus root 5 secant y. Substitute the values here. These two values here. So 8 into minus 3 by 4 minus root 5 into minus root 5 by 2. 4 ones are 4 twos are 2 into minus 3 that is minus 6. Minus root 5 into minus root 5 is 5 plus 5 by 2. So 2 6 are 12. 12 minus 5 that is 7. So negative sign here. So minus 7 by 2. Yeah, the value is minus 7 by 2. Now, please do this practice worksheet. These are from NCRT, exercise 3.2 from NCRT. This is question 1.
this is uh, from NCRT, this is not from NCRT. And these are the answers. This is second, second question to answer. 